I think it's important to remind yourself frequently of the reason why you do the things that you do and remind yourself that the vision that you have and the actions, the steps that you are taking to get there add up. And although sometimes it may be overwhelming and you may feel like you aren't making as much progress as you would like in whatever direction you're going in, know that the small steps that you take every day compound. Know that you can't mess up what is yours. And the vision that you have, I believe, is a vision that was meant for you. Your heart's desire or the vision, just generally speaking, that you have, the places that you want to get to, the goals, the aspirations, the dreams that you have, I believe personally, they've been given to you for a reason. And because of that fact, you should have confidence in going out of your comfort zone, jumping into the unknown, taking risks, and knowing that, like I said, if you take those small steps, you will grow and you will inevitably end up in the places that you ultimately want to get to. It's just about reminding yourself why you do the things that you do and reminding yourself constantly that you are capable of achieving those things because you've proven to yourself in the past that you are capable. The positions and the places that you may find yourself in right now, the circumstances that are in your life right now, although they may not be exactly where you want to be, things that you're going through may not be things that you want to go through but trust in your vision trust in yourself and try to look and see where the lessons are hidden in your circumstances because if you can find those lessons and you can dissect those lessons and figure out what they're trying to teach you it's going to help you in the long run you're going to be able to look back when you do get to the places that you want to get to and see how The things that you previously went through helped you get to where you are. There's always lessons to be gained from any circumstance and accepting that, appreciating that and showing gratitude to the present moment and whatever it is you're going through will set you up in the long run. So appreciate where you where you are and what you're currently experiencing. It's very cliche, but people say that the fulfillment that you get is in the work the fulfillment that you get is in the progress in the process to getting to where you want to go not when you finally get there and although you can gain fulfillment from achieving the kind of things that you want to achieve the true fulfillment comes from the steps that you take daily and the process to getting to your goal or your desired end your ideal wherever it is you want to ultimately end up One of the biggest ways you can remind yourself of the reasons why you do the things that you do and just your why in general is returning back to the present moment, taking a few deep breaths and connecting back to your center and really just experiencing the now. Whenever you feel overwhelmed or frustrated or lost, take a few deep breaths, connect back with your center, remind yourself who you are, where you are, And that should hopefully relieve some of the anxiety or frustration that you are experiencing. So ask yourself, what is your why? And know that your heart's desire and your vision that you have, the things that you see for yourself, are yours for a reason. They've been given to you for a reason. And that should bring you confidence. That should help with your belief and your faith that you're capable of achieving the things that you want because... Like I said, those things were meant for you. Have that belief, walk in that confidence and convince yourself that that's the truth because it is the truth. Do whatever you need to do to believe that fact because like I've said before, you need to be on your own team. You need to be your biggest supporter and do whatever it is you need to do to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, why should anyone else believe in you? And the only person that needs to believe in your ability to succeed in order for you to succeed is yourself you need to see yourself as the main character in this game called life and 
show up as the main character, do things that a main character would do, take control over who you are, where you are, and where you want to go, and actively take steps in the direction of your vision or your ideal. Becoming the person who you want to be happens when you make that mental decision that you are going to show up as that person. And then in order for you to continue to gain confidence in yourself, you're going to need to act like that person. You're going to need to do things that will prove to yourself that you are capable of achieving the, the kind of things that you want to achieve. And I'm not talking about crazy, massive steps here. I'm talking about small, very actionable things that you can do, that you can implement in your life right now that are going to help you see, like, I can actually do this. I can, I can be this person. I can show up as this person. You're the one in charge, and you need to make that step. And for most people, it's going to require you to act. If action means a five-minute meditation in the morning or the nighttime or journaling or going for a five-minute walk by yourself without music just so you can be with your own thoughts or getting some sort of movement in whatever it is drinking more water literally whatever it is you don't need to act in massive ways small steps every single day they will compound i can promise you that implement these small things into your life take small actionable steps every single day and over the course of a week or a month you are going to look back and see i am becoming this person this is the kind of person who I want to be. They act in certain ways. They do certain things. And you're going to start operating from that energy, from that frequency when you start doing those things and implementing those things into your life. But it all starts with that mental decision, committing to yourself, asking yourself, why is it I do the things that I do? What is your why? Connect with your vision. Align yourself with who it is you see yourself becoming. Implement that small action into your life. And I can almost guarantee that your life will change very quickly. It doesn't happen overnight, but if you stay consistent with your self-development practice and you remind yourself, like I said, of your why and you allow yourself to connect more deeply with your vision, knowing that you can achieve these kinds of things, well, then you're setting yourself up in the long run.